Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 kids whose Christmas wishes left Santa in tears. Christmas is a time for giving and receiving. Oh, and of course Santa. But while some kids wish for new bikes or Xboxes for Christmas, there are some kids whose wishes left Santa Claus in tears. Before you start welling up, be sure to subscribe to Top 10s and why not press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have Ryan Suffer. Most kids ask for expensive toys and technology for Christmas. But in 2013, Ryan Suffren from North Carolina, USA asked for something much more simple in his letter to Santa. His sister named Amber was twice his weight and has some learning difficulties. Because of this, a few mean kids had been bullying Amber, so Ryan simply asked Santa to make the bullying stop. His mum cried when she saw his letter and shared it to Facebook. It soon went viral and even big time rush, Amber's favourite band came to their house to perform for her. That was in 2013, so where are they now? Well Ryan and Amber are now 5th graders. Ryan is getting all Awesome grades, but Amber is struggling with schoolwork. But on the plus side, the bullying has stopped and she now has lots of friends, so it looks like Ryan's letter to Santa worked. Next up is Preston Barnett. You'd better get the tissues ready for this story. In 2015, four-year-old Preston Barnett was visiting a mall Santa with his grandma. The mall Santa was shocked when he said he didn't want any toys. Instead, Preston simply wanted for Santa to come and pray for a sick baby named Knox. The amazing thing was, Preston had never even met Knox, but had learned about the baby from Facebook. Santa obliged and the two went to the hospital and prayed over the baby the weekend before Christmas. Sadly, the baby didn't make it to Christmas, but Santa says Knox is now in heaven and he will have all the toys he could ever wish for. Next up is Christian Hickey. In 2015 near Christmas, Christian Hickey and his mom Jane answered the door of their home in Manchester, England. Suddenly they were shot by two armed thugs. Jane was shot and badly injured, while Christian was shot in the leg. The shooters ran off as it was a burglary gone wrong. Later on while in hospital, Christian wrote his Christmas list to Santa. At the top of his list, it said help the police catch the people who hurt me. The Greater Manchester Police posted his list to Facebook and it went viral. While the public couldn't help track down the shooters, they did buy all the other things on the list and much more for Christian to make his Christmas awesome. This was two years ago, so I'm sure him and his mom have made a full recovery. Next up is Last Moments. On the 12th of December in 2016, Eric Schmidt Madsen, who is a mall Santa, got an unknown call. It was from a nurse at a hospital who said there was a boy needing to see Santa. Eric agreed and the nurse said you need to get here right now. He came to see the boy in 15 minutes and the boy's mom gave Eric a gift to give the 5 year old boy. The boy told Eric the nurse had told him he wasn't going to make it. He then asked Eric how will I know what to do when I go. Eric hugged him and said just tell them you're my number one elf and it will all be okay. The 5 year old then passed away in Eric's arms moments after meeting Santa. Eric cried on the way home and had to pull over a few times. This is a sad story, but at least the last moments of that kid's life were made magical by Eric. Next up is Paul Trench. Imagine if your own brother passed away but you didn't know any details about him. Well this was the case for Ray Trench. In 2015 Ray Trench turned 50 but he still knew very little about his brother who passed away when he was 9. One Christmas Ray found an old children's encyclopedia and was shocked as to what was inside. Inside was his brother Paul's Christmas list from when he was 9. Ray had never seen it before and he was very sad to find it but at the same time it was nice as he had no mementos of Paul. The list simply said a Sabutio game, a torch and some cars and buses. As a nice gesture, Paul bought the Sabutio game of England versus Argentina and set it up with the list and a photo of Paul to always remember him. Next up is Arnolfo Guerra Jr. At this 12 year old school, all the kids had to write letters to Santa. But one stood out to his teacher and it was by Arnolfo Guerrero Jr. He wrote, Dear Santa, I believe in you and I believe in miracles. He said he didn't want any toys and just wanted a new heart for his sick mom. His letter went viral and the local community all came together to give him loads of toys to give him the best Christmas ever. Even the fire department of their town came by and dropped off a new bicycle for the kid. It's not known if his mom has received a new heart yet, but she says she felt so special and was so happy to see her son happy. Next up is Sarah. This is a very heartwarming story that will put a smile on your face and bring a tear to your eye. In 2015, a boy named Marcus saw Santa at a mall with his grandmother. He told Santa what he wanted, but also asked Santa if his sick sister who was in the hospital named Sarah could have some toys too. After Marcus was done talking to Santa, the grandmother came over and said I know it's too much to ask, but could you come over and see Sarah? Santa agreed and days later came to see Sarah in the hospital with a lot of gifts. She was very pale and had no hair from her chemo, but was happy to see Santa. Then one year later in 2016, Santa Santa was working at the same mall again. Suddenly a girl came running up to him and said, Santa, do you remember me? At first Santa did not, but she then said you came to see me in the hospital last year. He didn't even recognize her as she was no longer ill and had hair and tan skin now. This sure was a very heartwarming miracle. 
Next up is Lauren Jackson. When Kelly Jackson took her daughter Lauren to a mall Santa in 2016, she had an amazing experience with an awesome Santa. The kid in front of them had a hearing aid, and when they saw Santa, Santa showed them he had a hearing aid too. He told the kids, I know exactly how you feel, which made the kids feel very special. Then when it was Lauren's turn to see Santa, she told Santa that she had a back brace that hurt her. Santa then told her to feel his back, and to Lauren's amazement, Santa had a back brace too. Santa then whispered something special into Lauren's ear, which Lauren said made her feel like she was just any other kid. Santa sure did save the day here, as she made the kids feel like they were special as he related to them so much. Next up is Nintendo. One day a mall Santa named John went to a club that was for disadvantaged kids. One girl came to sit on his lap and said all she wanted was for her little brother to get a Nintendo Switch. Then the little brother came to sit on Santa's lap and said all he wanted was for her sister to get the new Barbie doll she wanted. John was so taken by these kids being so selfless so he decided to surprise them. He later went to the kids house and bought along with them a bicycle, a 27 inch TV, a Barbie doll and the Nintendo Switch. This was an incredible moment I'm sure neither John nor the kids will ever forget. It also made that Christmas amazing for those disadvantaged kids. Next up is Ronnie Harris. This is one little kid with a big heart. Ronnie Harris from the UK's dad named Russell was critically ill with a brain condition. On Christmas, his mom named Emma found her 10 year old son's note to Santa. On it, it simply said if Santa could cure his dad, it would make him the happiest boy in the world. His mom was very touched. It is not known if his dad's been cured yet, but this happened in 2013, so I hope he's okay now. And I hope Ronnie and all of you guys watching at home have an amazing Christmas this year. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most emotional Christmas wish. And guys, this Christmas, check out my second channel, The Crafty. There's a video for The Crafty on screen in a moment, so why not check it out? But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s. And remember, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy 2018.